Get on the Kellogg's old brand wagon with the best brand in the land. The cereal that tastes brand, the cereal that's all brand. Here is how a couple of folks started out with all brand. Their household was modern, planned to a T, but modern food lacking bulk caused them to suffer irregularity. Till once on TV said an announcer man, Get on Kellogg's All Brand Wagon. Eat Kellogg's All Brand. You'll like its rich brand flavor, toasted Kellogg's way. And with All Brand, you're sure of this each day. Supplies all the bulk in your diet, said he, that you may need for youthful regularity. Being wise, she thought, that makes sense to me. So next day, she bought All Brand and decided to see. Sure enough, Kellogg's All Brand set them feeling brand new. So if you're like this couple, see how All Brand might help you. Get on the Kellogg's All Brand Wagon. Eat Kellogg's All Brand. Men, after every shave, you need new Ice Blue Aqua Velva, the aftershave lotion that's better for your skin. Aqua Velva cools away razor burn, soothes irritated skin, contains humectin, a skin conditioner that puts back skin moisture. Get new Ice Blue Aqua Velva in this handsome decanter bottle. You'll like its clean, manly scent. You'll hear him say... There's something about an Aqua Velva man. Now, isn't that just like a boy? Every morning, it's the same story. You can't wake him up. He's still half asleep when... Uh-oh, he knows better than that. Shoes on your clean white sheet and... <coughs> You have to wash it, so you wash it in cheer. Only Blue Cheer has the Blue Magic Whitener, not just a bluing, a new and better whitener that really whitens clothes. Bluing, not with cheer. Bleach, only for problem stains. Cheer's Blue Magic Whitener is different. So your boy has a snack. Watch out for your clean dish towel, and when <coughs> you have to wash it, you wash it in cheer. Right. In your automatic, in any washer, Cheer gets clothes so clean, so white, you don't need bluing or bleach. No other suds has that blue magic whitener. Only new blue Cheer. Before Les and Mary do another song, look at this. The Martins have been happily married for a year, but something's gone wrong. Halitosis, bad breath, is no help to a happy home. Why depend on toothpaste? The most common cause of bad breath is germs in the mouth. So Betsy left Listerine by the basin where Bob would see it. You see, toothpastes aren't antiseptic, so they can't kill germs the way Listerine does. By millions. That's why Listerine stops bad breath four times better than any toothpaste. Nothing wrong with the Martin's marriage that Listerine couldn't fix. Listerine antiseptic. Ladies, the experts who designed your automatic washer put the right machinery here. So be sure you put the right product here. Well, ladies, why not use a product that's recommended by the world's largest maker of washing machines, Cheer. New Blue Cheer. Cheer is now even better for your automatic washer. You see, Cheer's exclusive Blue Magic Whitener now has new whitening power never before possible. Real wash tests recently made on Cheer and Agitator Automatics show that Cheer washes clothes cleaner and whiter at half the cost of any leading sudsless detergent. Cheer gets clothes so clean, so white, you don't need bluing a bleach. Except for problem stains, no bleaching. Nothing to add, no extra steps. Cheer makes automatics really automatic. Cheer, the only suds with the blue magic whitener. Now, even better in your automatics. Going out on a date? You look real sweet. Breath sweet, too, of course. Uh-oh, that's not the way to do it. Bad breath, halitosis, most often is caused by germs. And no toothpaste kills germs like Listerine antiseptic. Listerine stops bad breath four times better than toothpaste. Hey there, Cliffy boy. What do you say? Nice party, don't you think? Uh, you don't think, huh? Well, buck up, boy. Try to swallow that fruit punch. Ooh. Well, how about a nice watermelon and salami sandwich? 
Oh, you've had some, huh? Two, three. How many? A dozen? And you wonder why that stomach of yours is pouring out the acid. Well, good news, Clifford. There's the best thing yet for acid indigestion. Tums for the tummy. Have a couple. Mmm, tastes good. And right away, you're feeling fine, because Tums act instantly to neutralize excess stomach acid. Fix heartburn right on the spot, so uh, get with it, Clifford. Have yourself a ball. And from now on, don't ever forget those Tums. Ten cents a roll, three roll pack, 25 cents, and keep them handy. You know, several years ago, the Kellogg folks decided to see just how much nutrition they could put into a cereal, and yet have it taste real, real good. Well, they worked with dietitians from some of our leading universities. And the result? Well, here it is. Kellogg's Special K. Now, if you haven't discovered it yet, you'll probably react like this. Now, watch. Well, you notice the big red K. Good. Hmm. New kind of cereal. Well, go ahead. Don't be afraid to look at it, because it's new. That's right. Pick up the package. Kellogg's Special K. Concentrated, high-quality protein in a delicious new cereal form. Go ahead. Read about it. Has more protein in it than any other leading cereal and twice as much as the average of all cereals put together. Vitamins and minerals, too. How about flavor? Well, you'll really be surprised. You see, it's more than a flake, it's more than a puff, but a very special kind of flavor. That's it, take some home, go ahead. Give the family something really new for breakfast, something mighty good for all of them. Now, you just wouldn't believe anything so good for you could taste like this. Another bowl full, everyone? Well, sure. K up at breakfast with Kellogg's Special K, the new high-protein cereal. Now remember, Kellogg's Special K has more protein in it than any other leading cereal. And you know how important protein is. It's the sustainer of all body tissue, helps youngsters grow strong and sturdy, and helps adults stay active years longer. You try it. You'll like it. Kellogg's Special K. Thank you, Tony. Listen to the minor bird. Listen to the minor bird. Tongue for the tongue. That's Harry, the talking minor bird, smartest bird in the world. And smart people everywhere know there's nothing like Tums for the tummy for fast, sure, pleasant relief from acid indigestion, heartburn, upset stomach. Just pop a couple of Tums into your mouth. Tums give you instant relief. Scientific tests prove that the Tums method has never been equal for fast relief, thorough relief, long-lasting relief from heartburn and acid distress. Tums neutralize just the right amount of acid. Never too much, never too little. So be smart, be prepared, get Tums, and always carry them with you. America's number one relief for acid indigestion. Tom, for the Tommy. Tums, only 10 cents a roll, three roll pack a quarter. Get Tums today. Like the Rhino Bird says, Tums for the Tommy, Tums for the Tommy. That's it, Tums for the tummy. Oh, uh, incidentally, about two weeks ago... You can't miss seeing this package when you're at your grocer's, can you? Kellogg's Special K. That is, you can't miss it unless, of course, it isn't there. And that could be. You see, Special K is so popular, your neighbors may have beat you to it so that your grocer's out. But keep on looking. You'll find it in a day or two. And when you do, grab it, but quick. Now, here's what it looks like. It isn't a flake. It isn't a puff. It's more than either one. It's protein in a new cereal form. Has more protein in it than any other leading cereal, hot or cold. And you know how important protein is. It's the sustainer of all body tissue. Helps youngsters grow strong and sturdy and helps adults stay active years longer. Now, the whole nutrition story is right here on the back of the package. It tells what's in Special K and why you need it. And by the way, this is Better Breakfast Month. You know, you live better with a cereal breakfast. Doctors and dietitians agree breakfast is a must for people of all ages. And they also agree that a cereal and milk breakfast, a basic breakfast, gives you all the nutrition you need. So I suggest you make the cereal at your house Kellogg's Special K. Remember now... This is the package to look for, the package to get, the one with the big red K on front and all the protein inside. 
Kellogg's new high-protein cereal, Kellogg's Special K. What's the matter, Clifford? Can't get to sleep? Little heartburn? Well, couldn't have been that sandwich. Nothing in it but some sardines and pickles and cheese and onions and cucumber relish. Well, use the old bean now. What's in that drawer in the night table? Now you're cooking Tums, boy. Tums for the tummy. Take a couple. Chew them up. There, you're fixed, boy. Tums neutralize that excess stomach acid fast. Okay, Clifford? Heartburn gone, no more. Acid indigestion. Feel cool and relaxed all the way down. And Tums relief lasts. Well, pleasant dreams, Clifford. And don't forget to pick up some more Tums for the tummy. Ten cents a roll, three roll pack, 25 cents. And keep them handy. First thing in the morning. And um, it's been a week. I just did a feeding last night of just Medi-1. My parts were 700 parts per million. My pH was 6.4. And my water temperature was 6.3. So that was like a thumbs up. But uh, let's go take a look and see how these plants are doing, guys. There we go. Coming in. Mmm, start to smell nice again, that's for sure. And there we go. What's our temperatures in here when we first walk in here, guys? You're gonna love this. It's 75, went up to 82 the other day. We know that. And uh, we're in week, we're in week four. And, uh, well, here's the hoss, guys. This one that's rooting the best, it's looking just dank. Very, very happy with the hoss, of course. Now, here's the rest, guys, and you can see what's going on. We're gonna kind of move things in here. Getting a little bit of yellowing. This one dried out particular here. This particular UBC chemo was dried right out. So, um, we're taking a good look at that right now. I'm gonna come right in. So you can determine, I'm gonna say this one here is the Congo, guys. Congolese. Yeah, the Congo's going. There's the barber bud. It's doing pretty good. Got the afghan in the corner. You can just drop down in here, guys. Let's just go down and take a look at this nice Congo bud right here. So as you can see, woohoo! We have the reflective on here, guys, going. We got our well water. We're in week four. Showing you the top of this here, so we know that that's the, oh, looks like this one here, the hoss. Look at the hoss, guys. It's just doing amazing. So, we have a heater in here. We have no AC unit. We're running not one, but two Spectrum King 450-watt LEDs. There you go. And, um, well, we got the light track uh, hangers in there, the sun winches. We got our hurricane fans going on. That one over there looks like it's stuck, so we're going to have to go and fix that because it's supposed to be doing this back and forth. Our CO2, guys, in here. There you go. It's 720 parts, so we're doing very, very well. And, um... Just an update. Let's see if I can change the the balance in here. See if we can change the look of the camera. I'm just kind of curious right now, just because of um, now we're just having fun. Okay, so we went with this other manual balance and. Uh, Taking a really good look at the hoss, guys. LED grow week four. We're running five different strains. Actually, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different strains again. We're always about the seven different strains. Beautiful looking. Here's some Medi Kush. 
Here's the number four, which I've now called the LR Kush, I think. Here's the UBC Chemo, Remos Kush. I'm pretty sure what we're calling it, or UBC. It's it's, it's not UBC Chemo. It's a Remos Kush. Well, guys, just kind of wanted to give you a quick little uh, update. Week four, and that's um, that's a 420. This just came on. Like what perfect timing! I love it when I'm just in here and I got a camera in my hand. Go figure, right? I always got one of these. A little shout out here for our greenhouse seeds. You know, it seems like the super lemon haze is. I even accepted an award from them on stage back in 2015 for the Hent Man growing uh, Super Lemon Haze from uh, Greenhouse. But here you guys go. And um, looks like that uh, light tight's working out really well. This one's holding the heat. What's our temperatures, guys? There you go, 77. Doing really good. And uh, we're just kind of, we're not even walking in here. We know that these, these are being fed. And the plants are heavy. That would be the UBC chemo right there, guys. Right beside it is the hoss. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I mean, you gotta love nice looking weed. I mean, I do. That's why we're doing this. We wanna show you up close here, see what's going on. Congolese coming in. You can see how the Congo is, for sure. But looks like everything's um, doing really well in here, guys. And I can, I can already tell by being in like week five here. Um, yeah, that, that's definitely going to be over a nice pound of medication for myself. I, I can already see. So uh, I'm always smiling. I love these LEDs. But uh, anyways, that said, I just wanted to kind of take a look and see what things were going on here, guys. We're going to get in here and do a trim. We're going to bring Mike over. We're going to have a little chat. Get rid of all of this foliage in here, and we'll talk more about that with Mike because, of course, um, he wants to learn more, and uh, he's asking some questions on why his leaves are turning colors. So uh, we'll get him in here, and we'll talk more about it in the morning, guys. So, uh, yeah, always updating. Here we go. Time to go check on this LED, guys. I got the tripod set up here. I actually came in here um, last night. We are actually probably in week five-ish. Yeah, as you can see guys, this room is starting to fill out. Now, I'm just saying that that's looking pretty fine. We're gonna try manual setting on this here, just to see how it works for you guys. We're gonna try this today. So we're coming in, and um, well, let's take a look at the Haas, guys. Now the Haas is a Northern Light Number Five Skunk Case crossed with a uh, an old OG, an OG Kush. It was named Dave's OG from a bag. Um, I guess it came from a bag seed from Dave, and that came out of Vernon. So um, I crossed it, and we created Haas. Mark actually named the strain, so. Uh, that's the way it stands. Thanks, Bubble Man. Well, definitely looking at that closer, it is very dank and tasty. Now, today I'm going to get in here and do a little bit of this trim because we've got some of that yellowing in here. But, I mean, let's just walk right in here, guys. You know this is the Congolese. You know the Congo's doing just amazing. Now, don't forget, these are LEDs. Now, um, I'm going to make a little bit of a warning here, guys. Now, the warning comes into play nothing to do with the plants we can see they're doing very fine look at the end that's the barber bud in behind we got the afghan not getting, it doesn't seem like it's getting light we're gonna have to maybe uh, move this spectrum king up but what happened guys is I came in here and as you can see I have this chain on here for a reason well what happened guys is that sun winch for some reason, it broke. I have no idea why. No idea why. Now, what happened, I came in, 
and I saw this. Snapped, this light was on an angle. Um, so, uh, I guess these sun winches are a little dangerous. Uh, that's why I got chains attached to them. They did a little bit better of a job, but yeah, so the sun winches, uh, maybe not too good to hold the LEDs. So, a little heads up with those. Um, not recommending them right now, guys. Be careful. They break for no apparent reason. I wasn't even moving it. I just came in here and it was broken. So, on that note, let's take a nice look at these plants, guys. Because that's what we're really interested in here, isn't it? There you go. We're always growing dank. We're always having fun. We're always taking a better look at the resin. And I am definitely seeing, I mean, the Congo's filling out beautifully. You can see it's got resin on the leaf right on the edges here already. Just, just caked. Look at, look at that. Look at how big that is already, guys. That's, that's doing quite fine. We're, we're very, very happy. Mmm, smells amazing. Definitely the Barbara. And what's nice is when we come down here too, we're, we're, we gotta get a little bit more light penetration in here, so I have to do a trim in here. So I'm gonna come in here and see how these leaves are in here. I'm gonna snap these off, get in here, clean this up. I'm gonna get in here, I can see this leaf right here, I can snap that off. I'm gonna get in here and snap that off. And you hear how they just snap, we get all these nice big, big sucker leaves off. So anything that's got a little bit of yellow right now is gonna get plucked off. Get over here, yeah, that is a snap. Over here, oh, oh, that one didn't quite snap. But I'm gonna get in here and clean this up, guys, and we're gonna get more light penetration in here because we are in those stages that I need to do a little bit of trimming. So we did a week one trim. I normally do a week three trim, but we're gonna be doing a week four and a half, week five trim, I think, because I did do a little bit of a trim in week three. But I didn't get in here fully, you know, I've uh, been busy and I want to kind of let this go naturally and show you guys how this 100% organic grow is going. We're using the clean light, we're using LEDs, we're using Medi One, and uh, we're growing medicine here, guys. That's what we're doing. So I'm going to come out with a UBC uh, Remos Kush, looking very beautiful. Just like everything here, guys. We'll finish our trimming. And show you what's going on. And, um, hey, Puff and Pass, we're just showing you how to uh, grow organically and grow your own growing piece. Um, it, it, the best thing about growing your own medicine is how good you feel. You know, like, um, you know, my smile. You know, what? Uh, positive attitude, good homegrown medicine. Um, keep it low, keep it slow, keep it growing because it helps you. It helps me. Look at me. Here we guys go. We can all grow your own medicine. It's a beautiful thing to do. So, um, this is how I walked into the room this morning. Our CO2 was 613. Our temperatures were 78 at 82. And this is what our plants look like, guys. They are rocking. Look at, look at this. Look at the UBC, the Remo's Kush. Just killing it. Beautiful, rock hard. There's the Congolese. Can't leave out the Congo, it's beautiful. In the back there we've got the barber bud. So of course, there's the barber bud right there. And then behind the barber bud is the Afghan. That's the Afghan in the back. There's the Afghan. It's doing beautiful. You can see the crystal showing in on there. So, this is an LED grow, guys. This is 100% organic. We've used nothing but Medi One Organic in here. We did organic sprays in the beginning. Look at the hoss. And that's just nailing it. 100%. I'm very excited about that. Because I know how close that tastes to an oge. It's unreal. It's beautiful. That's, that's the new one right there, guys. It's the one that I'm excited about, of course. But as always, I'm here to show you guys what I'm doing. And uh, we're in like week six. And um, you know what, week seven, I, I kind of lost track. It's what happens, I don't pay attention. Why? Because the plants will tell me when they're done. 
We just know that we got through the certain weeks when we were feeding. I do not feed anymore. It's only water only. Remember that. For me, I use an organic nutrient. So after day 35, I just add water. I add water for like 35, 40 days sometimes. Sometimes 50. Some of those sativas got two months, 60 days of water. Hey, it worked fine. Because I have killer medicine for myself. That's the best part. So, you know what, guys? I just want to come in here and show you a quick morning. Um, you've been following up for the last two weeks, so you can see these little parts of the videos coming together here and how this room has been doing the last couple weeks. Phenomenal with these. You know what? I, I can't say it. I can't stress enough, guys. Um, they're working. And, and once again, no AC unit. I took the AC unit out and installed a little, a little ventilation fan. So, um... I think I'm. I think I'm quite confident that that I, probably one more of these lights, three of these lights, and I'll be able to grow my medicine very nicely for myself. So, I mean, that's a thumbs up for me because that's like 1,200 watts. No way. Wow. So, that that's a thumbs up. So, you know what? We're just gonna keep you updated with growing with LEDs, growing organic, indoors, indoor medicine growing here, and seeing what we can do, seeing what we can obtain, and seeing how much medicine we can get. Because don't forget, we're only concentrating on those gland heads, the trichomes, the cannabinoids that truly are the medicine and not all this plant matter that we're looking at. So once again, guys, I'm Puff and Pass. Peace. <laughs>